Policy riders allow life insurance applicants to customize policies to their specific needs. Riders add an additional level of protection in some form, and they usually come at a modest cost in the form of an additional premium. Among the most popular life insurance riders are those designed to provide additional benefits when the policy owner becomes disabled. For this purpose, there are three riders. Waiver of premium. For universal life insurance, waiver of monthly deductions. Disability income benefit. Payer benefit, juvenile insurance. To qualify for these benefits, the insured must be totally disabled. Some insurers define total disability as the inability of the insured to perform the duties of his or her own job, the so-called own occupation definition. Others use a more restrictive any occupation definition, defining it as the inability of the insured to perform the duties of any job for which he or she is reasonably suited by education, training, or experience. Waiver of Premium Rider The Waiver of Premium Rider, available with both term life and permanent life insurance, waives the policy's premium if the insured becomes totally disabled. Though it is most commonly added when the policy is issued, some insurers permit it to be added later, though evidence of insurability may then be required. To control claims by eliminating short-term disabilities, most waiver of premium riders require that the insured be totally disabled for six months before the waiver begins. This is called the waiting period. Some riders, however, require only a four-month waiting period. Premiums are payable during the waiting period. If the policy owner is still disabled at the end of the waiting period, the insurer refunds the premiums paid during the waiting period and waives future premiums as long as the disability continues. Most waiver of premium riders include a maximum age restriction, for example, age 65 or 70. At that age, the rider is removed from the policy and the premium decreases slightly. Key point. Although premiums are waived, they are in fact still paid by the insurer. This is important because in doing so the insurer makes sure the policy's cash value continues to grow and the policy remains financially stable. Universal Life Disability Waivers The traditional waiver of premium rider works only when the policy premium is a fixed amount payable on a scheduled basis, as with term life and whole life. The equivalent rider most commonly used with universal life, UL, and variable universal life, BUL, is the waiver of monthly deductions rider. It waives the mortality, cost of insurance, and expense deductions from the policy's cash value when the insured is totally disabled. Two closely related riders, offered by some UL and VUL insurers, are the waiver of stipulated premium rider and the waiver of cost of insurance rider. The waiver of stipulated premium rider waives an amount identified by the policy owner, at the time of application, as the premium that will be paid for the policy. The waiver of cost of insurance rider waives only the mortality charge that is normally deducted monthly from the policy's cash value. Disability Income Benefit Rider A disability income benefit rider pays a monthly income to the policy owner if the insured becomes totally disabled. Income benefits do not reduce the policy's cash value or death benefit in any way. Benefit amounts are generally calculated under one of two methods. Percentage of the face amount Fixed number of dollars per $1,000 of death benefit coverage the monthly income provided under a disability income benefit rider may be paid for as long as the disability lasts, up to a maximum age, for example, 65 or 70, or for a limited period, for example, 10 years. In any event, monthly payments cease if the insured recovers. As with the waiver of premium rider, there is usually a 4-6 to six month waiting period before income payments begin. The purpose for this is to control claims by eliminating short-term disabilities from coverage. Most disability income benefit riders include a provision for a waiver of premium, which waives the policy's premiums while providing monthly income payments. Payer Benefit, Juvenile Insurance, Rider When a child's life is insured, an adult, usually a parent, pays the premiums. If the payer becomes disabled or dies, the policy will lapse if the premium is unpaid. A payer benefit rider avoids this problem by waiving the premium if the premium payer dies or becomes disabled while the insured is still a minor. If the payer becomes disabled before a specified age, 
generally, age 55 or 60, then the waiver usually stays in effect until the payer recovers or the child reaches a certain age, typically, age 21 to 25, whichever occurs first. For your review. To qualify for any disability rider benefit, the insured must be totally disabled. The waiver of premium rider waives the policy's premium if the insured becomes totally disabled, but the insurer pays the premium to keep the policy funded. For UL, the waiver of premium rider is called either the waiver of stipulated premium rider or the waiver of cost of insurance rider. The disability income benefit rider pays a monthly income to the policy owner if the insured becomes totally disabled. Income benefits do not reduce the policy's cash value or death benefit in any way. The payer benefit rider waives the premium for a juvenile policy if the premium payer dies or becomes disabled while the insured is still a minor. Please pause the audio and watch the video. You can read the ways to enhance a uh, life insurance policy. The waiver premium rider is arguably one of the most valuable. Uh, just when a person is forced to confront his or her mortality, which is when a disability occurs, that's the time that they're going to be most appreciative of the fact that they own a life insurance policy. But it could also be a time when they find it very difficult to continue paying for that life insurance policy. The waiver premium rider does not suspend premium payments, but instead moves the responsibility for paying that premium from the policy owner to the insurance company. This is an important distinction to understand. If the waiver premium rider suspended premium payments, which it doesn't, but if it did, then that would effectively stop the continued growth of the life insurance policy. But by having the insurance company pay the premiums for the disabled policy owner, the policy continues to grow as it would have, which is an important consideration. Uh, one last thing uh, to, to mention about the waiver premium. What about universal life insurance? Remember, universal life insurance does not have a set premium. There's a lot of flexibility. So the waiver premium rider doesn't really apply to universal life insurance. Instead, universal life insurance policies offer uh, really one of two different options. One of them could be uh, the waiver of stipulated premium or the waiver of cost of insurance uh, rider. Either of them effectively do the same thing as the waiver premium rider does uh, for a standard permanent life insurance policy, which again is to continue funding the policy, but not at the policy owner's expense. Okay, so here is our four questions for this lesson. Uh, these are new to me. I don't, I've never taken this test before. I'm taking it live on the screen here. Uh, there's... Most of the time, I did not get them correct, but we'll see. Most disability income benefit riders also include which of the following? Provision for waiver of premium. Um, provision for increased death benefit. I'm going to say that one. That sounds about right. Life insurance waiver of premium riders most commonly require the insured to be disabled for a waiting period before premiums will be waived. How long is this waiting period? I know he said that in the video, too. And I can't remember what he said. All right, I'm just going to guess here. When a waiver of premium rider can be added to a life insurance policy? All right, I want to say... Um, up to one year, only when the policy is issued. All right, why do most insurers require a waiting period of four to six months? Okay, well, here you go. That's the answer up there. <laughs> Hopefully, you'll do that a lot on the test. Before the disability income benefit rider begins payments. Um... They want at least six months of insurance premiums before they pay for the disability. Maybe. That's probably the truth, but I don't think they can say that. I want to say federal disability waiting periods. All right. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. Nope. 
They want to control claims by eliminating claims for short-term disabilities. So that's the answer on that last one. There is no federal waiting period. All right. What did I get anyway? I only got one right. <laughs> okay. When a waiver or premium rider can be added, it can be added any time after the policy is issued, subject to the maximum age stipulated. And the premium wires require a six-month waiting period for the disability, I think, right? Disabled, yeah. Okay, most disability income benefit riders include a provision for a waiver of premium. Okay. All right, this one was short and sweet. Best kind. Not too long, not too short. And the next one we will talk about is riders covering additional insured. Thanks, everybody. Stay tuned.